Hey guys, let's take a moment and talk about the Sanyo TV that I have here. Yeah, I know, it's a little out of frame. I'll get it there in a minute for you. But I wanted to take a moment and let you know, I bought this as a smaller solution to have available just as a TV that can be placed just about anywhere. Uh, so I used it in my shop. That's actually where it goes. I took it out just for this video for you. And so that's what this is. So it does have Roku TV built in and it says that it has Dolby Audio on it. I don't know, I guess it does. And of course there's a little Sanyo logo there. It also comes with a handy remote. The remote does everything you would expect it to. It changes inputs, it does have some fast track buttons to get to things, and on the side it has some additional quick use buttons for volume up, volume down, and mute, which is really kind of handy. Now on the back, let me flip it around. Oh, there we go. It's not that heavy. It's actually a pretty light monitor. Yes, I know these mounts look bent because the way they're configured in my shop, that's the way they work. So on the back, we have two HDMI ins. We have the yellow video, I guess that's composite video, and a white and a red, which I believe are audio. I don't use those. It also has a digital audio out what else does it say there it's i don't know something that's the fiber type connection for audio and then it has a power button slash source selector here i guess if you lose your remote or are looking for a manual way to do that here you can see how thin it is it's a quite quite a thin monitor or a tv and with the hdmi it can be used as both which i've done i've also used it like in a lobby area connected to a uh, mini PC that was just hooked up right behind it, stayed right there with it, it worked great. So overall, I have to say, I'm quite happy with the Sanyo TV. I think it's a great addition to our, our shop. And I hope this review is helpful for you to decide if the Sanyo TV is the right TV for you.